Welcome to Happy Valley, Hawkeyes, where the atmosphere is loud, ruthless, and white. This is not going to be easy. It's going to be a whiteout, unofficial whiteout, 110,000 or whatever they put in there. It's going to be loud, crazy, all that stuff. If you're a uh, you know, growing up college football fan, this is something you dream of, playing the Happy Valley. It, it sounds like an amazing one. I've never been there before, um, but I guess just, we just have to stay focused on what our job is. Um, even though it's going to be a great environment, just stay focused and understand what we have to do. This number 20 ranked Penn State team has a duo threat in quarterback Trace McSorley and running back Saquon Barkley. I see a talented offense, explosive as well, um, and um, they have a really good quarterback and running back, and, uh, and I feel like you know they're very explosive and you know and dangerous. They have a good quarterback that can throw the ball, take shots down the field, and that can use his his feet as an advantage as well. He's one of those guys that can extend plays with his legs. I mean, he's not one of those guys that's going to sit in the pocket with something happen. He's going to actually run out, you know, and make something happen. So it's up for us, for our for our ends, or well, for our whole defensive line to keep this guy contained. Barkley is dangerous in the run game, sitting at 1,964 yards on the season, but he also poses a threat in the receiving game, too. I feel like he's better than the back uh, that, that we faced in, in Wisconsin. So, I mean, he's very physical, strong, lower body, and, you know, and, and someone that can break a big play and change the momentum of the game. We're going to have to be on top of it tackling, um, obviously just grabbing cloth, running through it, and then getting all 11 hats to the ball. You know, it's going to take more than one of us. He can maneuver around you. He can he can juke you out, or he can run you over. So I mean, he's he's got some powerful legs underneath him. Um, we're just gonna have to keep him corralled in there. Penn State's defense haunted their last two opponents in holding Purdue to 46 rushing yards and handed Ohio State 11 tackles for loss. That's uh, the biggest thing we're focused on. It's you know uh, like the entire passing game. It's not just the line. It's everything. You know, guys getting open. Getting the ball out on time, that type of thing. Certainly uh, protection, whether it's alignment, backs, tight ends involved. Everybody's got a role. We've got a great front seven and good on the back end as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to need to play our best game, and that's what we're working to do.